you go from main card to main event and you're looking the part, is, uh, is that part of your know, status and the card? Oh yeah, you know, I gotta um, make you guys care about it and, you know, hype up the event and whatnot. Do you feel like you have to do that? Like now that, you know, both the original main and co-main event are lost, but you really have to make sure that you go for it, really get the fans interested? Oh, well, um, I was always going to try and dress up and, you know, look smart. You know, I'm trying to get some attention, I guess. There's no better way to get attention than be in the main event. What, what was your reaction upon hearing the news? Um, I was stoked for like 20 minutes. I was ecstatic and then it kind of wore off. And now I'm just used to it already. I was already co-main, so. already jaded by being in the main event. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, you know, does this change anything about the way you approach a fight, or do you think that it might change anything about the way Patty Hoolan approaches a fight? Because, you know, now that these two big fights have been lost, that maybe either you or him maybe want to fill some of that vacuum with a little extra energy, or it might change a fight in any way? Um, it's not going to change my strategy, but I guess I have to go out there and kind of, you know, put on a show now, like, for the walkout or whatever. We'll probably get the crowd hyped up into it. I know, like, everyone was saying Patty has a huge following out here, so it's like the people's main event anyway, right? So it should be fun. How do you feel about having every Irishman in Dublin rooting against you? It's awesome. Come boo me. I love it. Can you uh, just take us through the steps where you heard yesterday that you would now be in the main event? Um, well, I was training with my coach, Charles. Um, we were hitting mitts and stuff, getting ready. I'm um, just keeping my timing on point. And um, I guess we were like in between rounds or something. And he looked at his phone and like so someone had tweeted that um, the main event, um, Duffy was out or something. And I didn't even believe it at first. I thought I thought like everybody was messing with me. They were lying to me. I did not believe it at all. But yeah, um, I guess in the main event now. And um, I know that you asked for the fight to be uh, made into a five round fight, is that correct? Um, yeah, I wanted five rounds. I, I, I really wanted to go five rounds. We're supposed to be the main event. We got to put on a show, right? We have to be, have to be fighters. So from your end, who, who, who did you hear was not actually uh, game for that five round? Was it, Odie pa was it Paddy or was it Paddy's camp? Or? Um, I'm not 100% sure. I know his management tweeted back to me saying that they only wanted three rounds. He just put like the emoji with the three. He just put this and then a three. So I don't know. I guess they only wanted three rounds. They didn't want to go five. I'm not sure, but I asked for it. Well, you know, like you said, this is a people's main event from the beginning because of you guys' are stars. You're both a very exciting fighting styles. And, you know, like, like your win over Richie Vakulik, you know, a, a great win. And he's got some two straight wins coming off now as well. Style, you know, sizing up your your game against his. Where do you feel you have an advantage? Everywhere. I feel like I'm a better fighter. Period. Um, I'm gonna come out there. I'm gonna try to take him out. And do you feel like you know so far that you've been uh, living up to your potential in the UFC? And if not, do you feel like this is your opportunity to do so in the main main event spotlight? I do not feel that I've been living up to my potential. I wanted to be champion like a year ago. I, I'm behind schedule right now. All right, and what do you think Patty does best? Like, where, where, what are the biggest problems that he poses? Um, he's long, and he's going to come out and throw a bunch of, like, weird things at me. I think Jack Slack called it flim flam. But he's going to do a bunch of that, and that's going to be interesting. It's going to be hard, um, a little tricky to deal with at first, but I feel like myself and my camp, we got it. Louis, everyone's been talking about the Irish support and how that might be significant in the fight. And, uh, but have you brought yourself any, anyone over? Is anyone, are there any Louis Smoker supporters this weekend? Um, I think there will be. I mean, I, I'm one of the funner fighters. Um, I met a few people last time when I fought Neil Siri. Um, I met a few Irish guys. They, they seem to like me. Um, you know, I, I don't think it's going to be, uh, it was, even when I fought Neil Siri, it wasn't as one-sided as I thought it would be. I thought I was going to get booed. I thought the boos were going to, like, rock the, the arena. But it wasn't actually as intense as I thought it would be. They were just there to watch a good fight, you know, and they're there to support their guys. It's not as biased as I thought it would be. I actually had, like, a lot of nice support out here. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. All right, and how do you see the fight ending on Saturday night if everything goes according to plan? say first round knockout but yeah we'll see thank you, thank you.